That's why I've been loving Symbiotica. It's like chalk or eggs and I'm ready to go. I'm alert. Work, but I could use Eat vacation and take the and us. free to make your smart devices service and select locations only episode. All you have to do is we're so excited to be back. Right, Kat? We are so excited. Good morning and welcome back to Bachelor Happy Hours Golden Hour. Thank you so much for joining us again. We're so excited to be back. Right, Kat? We are so excited to be back. And if you haven't done it yet, you are late to the game. So you need to follow our podcast so that you don't miss even one episode. All you have to do is search for Bachelor Happy Hour in the podcast app and then just hit the follow button and you'll know every time a new episode comes out. Yes, it's super important that you follow because you will get notified every time there's a new episode. And while you're there... And this is the important part, everybody. Leave a review. Ask us questions. Tell us what's on your mind. Because that's what we're here for, to talk about you. And we're so excited today, especially for Kathy and I, because one of our very best friends is here. Our special, special thank you, Nancy, for joining us today. Hi, Nance. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good afternoon. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Here it's morning, there it's afternoon. It's all good. So it's middle of the night for me. <laughs> so good to see you girls. What's happening in your life right now, Nancy? Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> so much. I mean, since the show ended, um, uh, I have just signed up for a golf, like true golf camp. I'm excited. Wait, you're going to learn to play golf? I'm going to learn how to play golf. I, uh, my short game is good, which I consider putt putt. <laughs> so I, need, I need professional help. And so me and a few of my friends are going to go to North Carolina and it's a week long um, golf instruction, intense golf instruction for boot camp. And I'm so excited. Oh, it sounds, that sounds fabulous. I th- we might have to go with you on that well, one. You know what? Yeah, I'm I thinking would of- love it. Definitely a threesome. We're going to be playing and traveling the world playing golf now. I like it. I I like it it a lot. Okay, so Nance, speaking of trips, we took a trip. Oh, yes, we did. To St. Martin. And we did have a great time. But I want to know, we want to know, Bachelor Nation wants to know, give us one of the best moments, funniest moments from that trip. (laughs) We could be here for a while because there was a lot of them, I believe. Oh, I can't even just what's the first thing that pops in your head when we talk about our trip or or just one of the fun things that we've done together on our trip oh i loved the going to pinnell island and um you know picking out our lobster Lobster. and eating it but one of the funniest was when susan (laughs) burned um the toaster yeah. And ruined it, and they had to get a new one. <laughs> Melted the cord, <laughs> anyway. wait, and I still wanted to use it. Remember, I still needed toast, and it burnt first. But the funny, even funnier is when I went to go tell on myself, and Kathy was videoing, I didn't even know it, and then tells <laughs> I was just chronicling it for future generations. <laughs> so, Nance, tell us, though, Do you? I thought you were going to talk about when we were driving in the dark. Do you remember? No. Oh, of course I do. I was scared <laughs> to death. I was holding on for dear life. <laughs> I have one. How about when I went shopping and you two stopped at the jewelry store and then I couldn't find you three hours later. I come back to the store. They've got diamond bracelets, one with my name on it. We called They called them the friendship bracelets. <laughs> do you remember? We had so much fun. Um, What's our next trip, Nancy? What do you want? Where know. are we going we got, next? We got, I, I think Europe. Yeah. I'm thinking there's a lot of guys in Europe. I think <laughs> we've got to branch out. I think we've got to branch out. <laughs> what, you want a guy with an accent, Nancy? <laughs> Absolutely. Love that. Love that. So how is the love life going? Have we dated yet or? No, not really. Um, I, I think, think you had one, didn't you? A lot, yeah, I did, but nothing so right. far to speak right. of as far as nothing serious and i don't know i'm keeping my options open open my brother-in-law always said well you know what you should do is get a job at a golf course <laughs> <laughs> it shop. sounds like 
it sounds like you're on your way with your <laughs> golf trip coming up. What do you think I'm doing? I know. I, I think it's brilliant. I'll take you shopping. We'll get cute golf outfits. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. I love I think, it. I think since the show, honestly, and the reason, one reason I told you all that is because I am more open and more excited and, you know, certainly refreshed from the, from the Good. experience to go and do and try new things and Which travel, is- et cetera. Um, and the one thing you know, I've been a widow. I am a widow, but my husband passed away now 13 years ago. Wow. And, you know, as you know, and you've heard from other people and Kathy, you know, firsthand as well, that once you go through, well, there, there's a, there's a poet, Naomi Shibab, who wrote about sorrow. And she says in her poem, like the only thing you can do when you've gone through um, losing a spouse Mm -hmm. is that you've gone through the deep sorrow and now you do know kindness. You do, you are kinder. I think I'm a more compassionate person than I used to be. That's hard to believe, Nancy. You are pretty, it's hard to believe. You're one of the most compassionate people I know. Thank you. No, and I'm saying, I think that happens for a lot of people. Um, that they've just gone through it. And now they're like, okay, like now we all have it in perspective of Mm -hmm. what's important and what's not. And so I'm looking forward to, you know, going on this journey and hopefully meeting someone. And if not the true blessing from the whole experience of golden bachelor was meeting you. you. So that, so, so that is, that brings up a question for me, Nancy, You know, you were married a long time. Um, we both have three children. Wh- how? What kind of guy are you looking for now? How? How is the relationship you're looking for now going to look different from your marriage? Well, I think I think it's different to start with because when you meet someone new at our age, you know, you don't have little children. You're not navigating schools and preschools and college and all of those things. So I think I'd like someone who has a sense of adventure, um, someone who bottom line makes me laugh. <laughs> and I'm all in. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And is trustworthy and a gentleman. I'd really, I'd love a true gentleman. I mm. agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's well said. So Nancy, can I ask you what has your favorite age of your life been so far when did you feel most confident and most like yourself i think well it goes back um in my probably in my 40s when you know my kids were growing up and everything was good that's when i felt the best but okay now i think i've gained a lot of confidence i i assume you guys have too from doing the show being exposed to different things and, you know, trying new things. And I yes. think, I think now I'm as confident as I've ever been. Okay. So I want to bring up something here. Um, Susan and I were talking about, you know, how people can be cruel on the internet. Um, I um, have been told uh, or accused many times on the internet and Instagram of having had a facelift and cheek implants in the last six months. Um, that is not the case. Uh, you, Nancy, decided to to go rogue and put your face with your tooth missing on Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, wait, wait. so props to you on that because that speaks to confidence. I'll never forget the night in the mansion when we didn't expect it. She popped up. I was like, oh my God. No, <laughs> I remember yeah. that moment because I had the same moment. <laughs> but, Na- <laughs> but Nancy, those kinds of things, like what are the things in your life? I know you've had some health challenges. What other things, you know, when you're young and in love and, and the young bachelor and bachelorettes, they're just gorgeous, thin, they, you know, they seemingly have the perfect life. But as we get right. older, we have issues. And, you know, if, you, if you're comfortable talking about any of that, I would love to hear your thoughts. No, I am. Thank you. Um, I, I, a little known fact is that I have diabetes. I have type one diabetes. 
I take insulin. And I, I mean, the producers and people on the show knew it, but I didn't really put it out there on the show. And I have to say that Daisy from the um, Joey season, um, she came out, you know, with her cochlear, cochlear implant. And mm -hmm. it certainly gave me the impetus to be more open about diabetes. I unfortunately had someone who I dated very, I mean, three days, no big deal. But he said, I'm not interested in dating anyone who has chronic health issues. Wow. Well, <laughs> we don't even count that. <laughs> well, that's true. But what I'm, my point to that is, I think as we all get older, I'm 61. Um, and as we continue to get older, more things will happen. More yes. people have, I have diabetes, nothing I can do about it, but I manage it. I can Absolutely. live a great life. I can ski. I do Pilates. I manage my diabetes and Daisy from Joey show. She manages her, you know, having a cochlear implant and the things that go along with that. And I think it's important just like I did with my missing tooth that I'm soon going to get my new one. Um, if things happen, that's life. You can't do anything about it. All you can do is manage what you have, but it doesn't mean that you have to hide or stop. And I was always afraid, or I, I've been afraid to put it out there. And it was truly Daisy who got me, you know, kind awesome. of gave me the confidence to, you know, move forward and be open about having diabetes. And I'm also, because of her getting um, a small pump that I'll wear on my arm or or somewhere on my leg, um, which is no big deal. And it, it makes managing diabetes even easier. Much easier. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because how many people in this world have it? It's a very common. Million. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. and, and the thing that I love, Nancy, is, you know, we talk a lot about being our age and being adventurous and, and getting up off the sofa and living our best life. But you are absolutely proof positive that you can be confident. It doesn't stop you, Nancy. You live your life. And, and as people get older, I think sometimes we look for excuses to not do things. Mm. And you are looking for excuses to do things. Absolutely. You are not making excuses. You are doing living your life to the fullest. And I love that. And thank you for sharing that because everybody that is listening that have that same diabetes or any other thing just goes to show you, look at Nancy, as beautiful as she could be. And she's living life and loving life. Yeah, and yes, I am. Bring up going stir crazy with excitement to your landscape. You, I know you have daughters, Nancy. I'm curious, what do you tell them about dating? You know, give us some good dating advice because, you know, it's, I think people out there want to know. Sure. I want to know. My, the, the one thing I've always told them and the one thing I try to follow, although I haven't always done it as well as I should have, is pay attention to your gut. What's your gut tell you? Yeah. What's your first gut feeling? Um, about this person, or if there's any red flags that pop up, don't avoid those. Don't dismiss those. Pay attention to the red flags. Don't and make them yellow. Secondly, I think that if you sit and think about how does that person make you feel? Not Very how good are point. you going to make that person feel. How does that person make you, make feel, you feel when you're with your family, with your friends, just the two of you, how do they make you feel? And if they don't make you feel like, you know, 5 million bucks or the best thing ever, and they don't adore you, you'll find somebody down the road. And that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> and as our best friend, right? Yes. Do you have any specific dating advice for us? Nancy. And maybe it's not the same for each of us, but what do you what would you tell us? We need help, Nancy. <laughs> Let me be more clear. I need help. No, I would no, no, no. I, we're all in this together, right? I wouldn't tell you. I mean, truly, I think those are really good the same things. I, I think I would say the same thing. And and 
again, I know we've talked about you have to put yourself out there. And even if you go out with somebody on one date or three dates, you know, you never know. Right. And I've, I've also heard go out on three, like just one date, you can't really get a good feeling. But by the third date, you have a good feeling like if this should continue or, you know, and don't waste your time. If it's so not, though, you don't believe in love and first sight. I do. That happened actually with my husband, but my late husband, but I'm not sure all the time it does. And so. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you're saying like, give it a chance. I struggled with when I was much younger and dating and it would have to be that head over heels feeling. If not, I wouldn't bother. But there's so many men that I've met over my lifetime that were friends that weren't, I wasn't attracted to, but I love them and their personality and they made me feel special, but we weren't in that dating. I wish it wasn't just a physical thing or first attraction. Well, I do think as you get older, you know, Nancy, your kids are grown. You don't have grandchildren yet. But I think, no, I mean, I know, I, not yet. Yeah. Well, I think, but I do think you look, I do, I, I, I look for different things. You were married to your, to Mark for a long time. As you said, you raise kids and I think it's just a whole different thing at this stage of our lives. Um, and it you're is. really active. So I know you want someone active. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, there's all different pieces, you know, then you meet somebody, do they live in your hometown? <clears throat> Are you going to have to move? You know, there's a lot more, there's a lot of different things at play Mm -hmm. than when we were younger, because now, you know, they've got kids, you've got kids, you've got to try to mesh it, you've got to try to make it work. And Mm -hmm. so I think, but, but knowing, you know, you know that going in. Yeah, but I do think that's one of the most difficult things. It is. Can I ask a question of both of you? What do you feel about dating a man that's never been married or has any children, no children? Don't you think that's a little bit different? What do you think, has to be. Yes, has to be. I've never dated anyone who who was like that and mm-hmm. who didn't have children. But for me, it's always been a red flag. Like if I've had friends who've said, oh, he's never been married, doesn't have kids. You're like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know why it's a red flag. That's just my gut feeling. Well, don't you think it's because we, as parents, no matter adult children or not, have responsibilities to our families? Mm-hmm. And when something important comes up, they might not understand. I think it's, as you know, parenting is such a selfless job. I will say it never ends. It never ends. Correct. <laughs> but that person who we're talking about who hasn't had a selfless life right. cannot help but be more self-centered or selfish because they haven't had to be selfless. But isn't that ironic? You're absolutely right, yeah. Nancy. I think um, I've dated uh, a few men that have never been married. And honestly, I won't do that again. But Why? because exactly what Did Nancy is saying, <laughs> incredibly mm-hmm. selfish, not and I, because that's what their life has been. It's always been about them. Right. But not having children, you know, you never know. There might be a reason they didn't have children True. if they were married. So that doesn't bother True. me as much. No. But I, I agree with you. Um, I won't do it. Would you compare it to like an only child? You know, some... People, I always know when I'm around somebody that's an only child. I would have liked to have been an only child. I was one of seven. (laughs) I I had to to fight for breakfast. (laughs) Oh, you weren't one of the first. I was the first of five. So, oh, you're the the oldest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, So you know what I mean. I was the baby. You're supposed to be spoiled when you're the baby. Uh, Not so much. No, (laughs) I'm sorry for you. Kathy, you know what I think? I think you didn't get to be spoiled then. But I think you're going to be spoiled in the future with a great. Oh, I like oh, it, Nancy. Yeah. That, and can I just say and that is just one good. of a million reasons I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and can I say something, Kathy? That brings to mind that book I'm reading. I did a wedding the other day, and I've never really cried like a baby at weddings. This was a 25 year vow renewal, and she oh. now lives in Hawaii. So her and her husband and kids came up, and her grandfather of 88 years old. His lady of 86 years old had a commitment ceremony and he shared what it was like meeting her. They're both have deceased partners. 
Long story short, she wrote this book, Aloha. And as I'm reading this book, it brings all back. You remember the secret. It's all about the power of positive thinking. And one of the phrases I just read the other day, I shared it with you this morning. Whenever in your vocabulary you say the word not or no, just stop right there and go back. Everything has to be in a positive vibe for the universe because they don't, the universe doesn't get English. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we take it back. But something you just said to Kathy about it is going to come. You have to believe it's going to come. We have to picture it and, and feel it. Right. I, 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 can I just say one thing? Yeah. I've been picturing Colin Firth <laughs> for, for my life, my whole life. After Mark died, I'm like, the only guy who I would talk to is Colin Firth. I'm not I remember him. that when we were in the mansion. mansion. <laughs> but wait, I'm here's. Waiting. He must keep be up in a tree somewhere in London. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is he married? No, he's divorced. Oh, well, well, Nancy, then, Colin, do Nancy? you hear us out there? <laughs> Get on it, Nancy. I Make tried. the first call. Make the first call. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's not even on social media. Anyway, I died. Uh, Nancy, I have a question but... though. That what Susan just said. Did you ever think a year ago? I mean, we talk about how our lives have changed a year ago. That's how I mean, you really could be. Here, I'm cheering. Oh, that, that, that. Why, why am I around? I'm I around cried Susan. like a baby when it all happened at the wedding. Wait, if I could just tell you the story, I don't think we have enough time. But he shared how they met and this glow that went through them, and they were holding hands. I was like I, bawling. Wait, I just want to say, <laughs> I'm beginning to think it's me. I'm around Susan, she cries. I'm around Nancy, now she's crying. Well, I don't know. Can we have a few laughs, please? She's no. crying because the, he didn't call her yet. <laughs> right. What is the biggest, Nancy, truly, what is the biggest change in your life in the last year since The Golden Bachelor? All I could the, answer that. All of the friendships, <laughs> all of the new friendships and, and lovely and lasting friendships, like with the two of you. That's what I was going to say. And the other golden ladies. Mm -hmm. And... The whole experience, everybody I've met, and I know you feel the same, has been lovely. And I mean, I never expected it to be like this. And I'm still hoping for more. So I'm, everybody needs to keep their options open, right? You're never getting rid of us, babe. No. And do you, do you hear what she said? It's putting the positivity out there. It's just believing it can happen yep. and putting that energy out there. Yeah, I love it. So what do you think? It's game time. We're going oh, to play games, Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, you know, we love to play games. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, Nancy and everybody, we're going to play a little relationship game. It's relationship. <laughs> would you rather? Okay. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Here we go, Nancy. Here's the first one. Your date buys you a gift or makes you a homemade gift. Which would you rather? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I, uh, homemade. If he's a builder and is going to build me a house, I'd be good with a homemade one. If oh, not, people, just buy me something. Come on, people. <laughs> I want a piece of jewelry, yes. preferably diamonds well, and solid gold. Let's be honest here. Oh, gosh. You All said right. to be, okay, go ahead. <laughs> let's try another one. Date someone with an unfortunate piercing or an unfortunate tattoo. Unfortunate? What like a piercing in a bad place? Is that? Yes. That's, yeah. I would say piercing because they could always take it out. <laughs> that's, that's the logical man. I like I it. Thank I like you. it. What I, about you? I, I guess I would agree. I mean, I don't think a tattoo is unfortunate. It doesn't, Me either. you know. No, and especially but, if it means something. So when I say I'm fortunate, the only thing, the first thing that comes to mind is, Ooh, where is it? <laughs> and we're not going there. <laughs> okay, we will. Like all right, said, it's all too right. early. It all right, Nancy, <laughs> speaking of relationships, yes. would you rather date a snorer or someone with bad breath? A snorer. Why? They'll keep you up all night. 
That's they true. could get their but own if you're room. around them a lot and they smell bad. That's, that's a deal breaker. You give them a bottle, you give them some toothpaste and a bottle of mouthwash. No, <laughs> sometimes bad breath comes from within. It's like a thing. Oh. No, right. I would definitely agree with you. And at this stage of the game, the house is big enough. He can have his own room and I could have mine. I oh, now she's changing it. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's a builder. Okay. Wait, he's a builder, so he can change. That's like, right. He can build okay. his own wing. <laughs> Do you enjoy watching TV shows together or perhaps movies together? Movies. I would agree with that. I think I like a nice romantic movie. Or a series. You know what? I like how many adult people told us that they watched The Bachelor together, Golden Bachelor, and their husbands were involved. That's like new. But wait, Nancy, I want to go back. You said a series. I want to know why a series instead of a TV show? Is this to keep the guy on the couch or what? <laughs> Come back every night. <laughs> it's always about that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. All right. What do you think? Yeah, All think- right. Here's one more, Nance. Date yep. someone who okay. has a lot of female friends or no friends at all? Ooh. A lot of friends. I think that female would be friends. a red flag. Wait, a lot friend. of friends or a lot of female friends? Oh, female friends. Sorry. A lot of friends. Yeah, so, I don't think that would bother me. Wait, if it, wait, I want to get, why not female friends? Do you not trust him, Nancy? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if they, he had a lot of female friends, I would be their friends. I'd get new girlfriends. That would be fine. Right. <sighs> okay. That's all, right. all I okay. think. Go with it, right. nothing. I'd be jealous. I, 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 I just know me. I mean, you guys sound so pure, and and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When you date that guy, and he's got 15 girlfriends calling him to go out for pizza on Friday, I'm gonna no, see I how would, you yeah, feel then. I would, not, I would not like that. I agree. Oh, just right, this is my favorite one. Get flowers from your partner every week or diamonds once a year. Ooh. <laughs> I want a little one for the diamonds. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to surprise you guys. I like really? Are you going with the diamonds, Nancy? Yeah. You too, Susan? No, I like flowers. They make me happy. Okay, so no. you know what I? You know why I'm going with the flowers? Because. Scared. Well, no, because this is where I'm. I'm sort of a little romantic that way, sentimental. The if someone Thinks takes so enough time to order flowers for me. Once a week, he knows the flowers I like. He's thinking about me. Diamonds, you know, you call up a jeweler and say, hey, it, it doesn't take as much thought, if you will. Um, but I think, you know, Mark and I used to do this thing. We would leave each other. He started it. He, we would leave each other on a torn out piece of paper, a little note. Not every day, maybe once oh. a week-ish. But you, I'd find it somewhere in my car in my and he oh, would say so he would say I'll miss you or I loved our dinner last night or just a little thing it meant so much to me it does and it I really thought does. kind of like what you were saying about the flower it is it, it is nice to be thought of and mm-hmm. loved and you know even when during all of our busy lives just to have a little note or some flowers I mean yeah. that is nice um I know okay I've got I've got a better idea I'd like Nancy her. Nancy, yes, I agree. Here's what we do: we tell the guy we love flowers, and then, oh, a couple times a year, he winds a diamond bracelet or necklace in the flowers. In the flowers, <laughs> Kathy, you've been I like the way you for think. A long time. I like the way you think, Kathy. <laughs> All right. So what? Well, let me share something that I've done over the years being single. Right. Because flowers do make me happy. Yep. Once a week, I would go and buy a bunch of flowers and go home and it would take my whole Friday night of arranging them in my vases around the house having fresh flowers. Wait, did I just hear you? She said You spent your whole Friday night arranging? Oh, honey, you need to get a life. Yes, I went to Produce Junction and bought gathers and lots and lots of flowers and I made vases and they were beautiful and they make me happy. Okay. So if nobody is buying them for you, we could either A, buy them for each other. (laughs) Will you put a diamond bracelet in mine? I'm not putting the diamonds in there. Maybe cubic zirconia. (laughs) All right, Nancy, (laughs) uh, we know uh, the world doesn't, but we know that you have a fabulous dog named Max who is your best bud and we love Max. Thank you. But but now I'm going to put you forward. You're dating someone. Would you date someone who doesn't like pets 
No. Or, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, the alternative is much better, Nancy. <laughs> or date someone with 10 pets. Oh. Oh. Oh, red flag. I see the red flag. Red flag, red flag. <laughs> no, First thing that comes to mind is hair all I over know. the house. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> so let me give you ladies the solution. You're, you date a guy with no pets. That's better. And you get date a guy with no pets. And then if it turns into something, you get the pet you want and he has to learn to deal. <laughs> but it says he doesn't like pets. I don't, I, sorry, oh, who asked what oh, he likes? it liked? doesn't matter what he likes? <laughs> Not when yeah, it comes exactly. to pets, if you want a pet. You're in charge. You're in charge. <laughs> That's right. You know what? He can do the cooking and the cleaning while we're at it. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why I'm not dating. You guys are so funny. Oh no, God. you will clean the dishes. I'll do the cooking. Nancy will do the cooking, but you have to do the dishes. Nancy's going to be out busy walking Max. I'm going to be and looking for Colin, wherever he is. Oh, God bless. So, Nancy, question for you. Yes. I have to be honest. I have not been on a dating site since The Golden Bachelor. I are you on? Are you're not on dating sites? I'm not. What about what about your DMs? Are they blowing up since the show? Well, oh, oh juicy! Come no. on, do tell. Spill, Let spill me the tea. Finish. It is different than I thought it would be. I thought, oh, this, you know, unfortunately, Gary and I, you know, didn't make it right. And friend zone. <laughs> we're in the friend zone, but. I was, I thought, you know, my, the exposure would be great. And I'm, you know, I, I sure people will reach out. Mm -hmm. So I've had people who are much older than me, i.e. 80. Oh. And I've had most, mostly older men. And then I had this one guy, he sent his picture and he said, I would love to be your golden bachelor, oh. but I'm not golden. He was 40. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so not, did you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Would you do it? Would no, you go out with him? I wouldn't. I would, Why? I would date with someone younger, but not that much younger. No. Well, do you have a, a gap? Like, do you have a specific amount of years or just? Because let me just say to Susan, yeah. age doesn't matter. So <laughs> Nancy, talk. <laughs> <laughs> Convince I, her. I would have to have, um, I think, uh, I don't know, five years younger, maybe three years younger. Well, you know what I, I think the problem is? I feel like that, but I do. Going too young because you can't even relate about life, you know, things that already happened for you, especially when you get into 15 year gap. You right. know what I mean? The music you listen to is not the same. The, everything is different. Right. Nancy? That, that's what I've heard about the older men, like men who are, you know, 70 or 75 and then want to date a 30 year old. Well, after the honeymoon part of the relationship, they don't have anything in common. They haven't mm -hmm. experienced, the 30 year old hasn't lived any life. How can that work? I don't get Don't that. you think it's a, a, a arm candy? Yeah. Like they just want a nice young looking, nice hard body sure. woman on their arm. You know what? Go buy them a rubber doll. I'm I mean, come on. My, here's my arm candy. Look. Oh yeah, do those Pilates, Look girl. That, I see girlfriend. that. girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I've had such a good time talking to you I guys. Know, I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. Well, wait. we're going to be on that golf trip. Wait. Well, that's not till September. We're going to see her before that. Wait, wait. Uh, we're letting everyone know now. We are going back to St. Martin, yes? Yes. Only this time we're staying two weeks, right? One week I don't think was enough. No, uh, because when, once you get in the groove and we went to different beaches, but we didn't get to all of them, I think. And we were only at the jewelry store one day. And it was like <laughs> the the whole day, may I add, the whole. I, know, I walked in, I, I was I spending a thousand bucks. Well, and you have to tell everybody that we, you know, of course, we befriended the owner who loves Absolutely. all of us and Absolutely. who can um, make any jewelry you want. And so we need to go back and hang out with him. I don't know. Wait, Nancy, that's a great idea. We'll bring the flowers and tell him to put the, the diamonds, diamonds in the flowers. <laughs> and we'll see him once a year. It's perfect. <laughs> Write that no, down, I Kathy, because I may I forget. I boyfriend. Just one. I'm not greedy. Just one <laughs> good one. And then they can go to St. Martin with us and meet our friend at the joint. That's a Jeff. That's a great idea, Nancy. But since you'll be the one with the boyfriend, could you ask him if he has an older brother for me? 
Susan can get her own. Oh, thanks. These are my friends. You hear that, everybody? These are my friends. They throw me to the wolves. No, you'll be just fine, Susan. Well, that does it for this episode of Bachelor Happy Hours Golden Hour. And I can't thank you enough for our beautiful Nancy joining us today. And we'll have you back again, Nancy. Ah, I love you, girl. We love you, Nancy. Love you, and girl. we can't wait to have you back again. Don't thank worry. you all for joining us and please be sure to follow bachelor happy hour as we have new episodes coming out every week remember go to bachelor happy hour and then search for the show golden hour and that's where you'll find us and make sure to submit your questions i'm dying to answer some real questions we did just a touch of it the other day and they were fabulous questions by the way and kathy and i were on opposite ends of the spectrum for some of them and others we agreed with but just go to bachelornation.com forward slash golden hour hit us up on social bachelor happy hour i look forward to hearing from you that is absolutely true. We can't wait to hear from you. But in the meantime, please listen to Bachelor Happy Hours Golden Hour on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Until next week, see you then. Bye.